Hi, I'm Paul Wilson on the stage. <laughs> so I really like messing around with nerves. You know, embedded elixir on single board computers, that kind of things. And I also like to have my nerves boxes communicating with something on the cloud so I can um, check things when I'm away from home or control them from, uh, over the cloud. And WebSockets are great for that because it's two-way communication. Um, but I, I, keep written, I keep finding myself writing variations on the same code, so I've made FedEx. Um, is that a recognized FedEx? Messenger of the Gods from Done Manifesting? Yep, yep cool. <laughs> um, so, how to do it. So, uh, FedEx server, it's a uh, hexical. Uh, I only personally use that term, but I'm sticking to it. Um, uh, stick it in your server dependencies, the FedEx server. Um, implement the handler as a behavior, uh, which, will, which has callbacks for things like authentication, uh, handling messages coming up from the client, uh, when, when, when a client connects, so you can use presence to track the client or um, sub subscribe to messages so you can push things down to the client uh, via PubSub. Sub well, sub subscribe to PubSub and shove things down to the client. And then, uh, yeah, stick it in your endpoint. Uh, there's a handy FedEx socket uh, macro which will set that up for you. I was... Um, messing around with some existing code to screenshot in a convenient way. And I've got no idea how that parenthesis ended up on the alias, but um, I, there you go. Um, on the client, um, yeah, uh, FedEx client dependency. I, I only shoved this up uh, actually this lunchtime. I've been getting off GitHub. Documentation is a little sparse at the moment. I promise I'll put something, <laughs> I'll do a bit more. Um, then uh, there's, a hand, there's a handy use macro to, uh, to implement on the client, uh, fill in various things like where your server is, um, device ID, um, other, optional f other optional callbacks are available. Um, then stick it in your supervision tree. Easy. Then you can send messages to the server. So this is on the little box on my office, which is... Um, uh, checking temperature and uh, checking presence of people. I want to turn it into like a burglar alarm thing at some point where it texts me when somebody breaks into my office and takes photographs of them. But I haven't got quite around. I get sidetracked doing stuff like this instead. Um, One-time login. Uh, I tend to have a little local Phoenix app running on my, uh, on, on my nervous clients, which I can connect to and do things like uh, log into the server. It's, it's one time. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, so FedEx, uh, things it does, it'll automatically reestablish the connection uh, um, if, if when your network goes down, which it inevitably does. Um, after the initial authentication, it'll store a, token, a signed token um, behind the scenes, so you, uh, it'll reconnect using that. Pings the server uh, down again, and. Um, uh, the communications with Elixir terms. Uh, so a Joe Armstrong, well, Joe Armstrong uh, heckling somebody about using JSON once. It's like, <laughs> no, just use Elixir terms. Um, decoding is, is safe, so uh, be careful with your atoms. Uh, and no credentials are stored locally, so it's a signed token, which you can set the, you can uh, do the expiries, uh, configure the expiry, things like that. Thank you. I'm Paul. Uh, that's me. Um, I'm not hiring. I'm uh, <laughs> the, the opposite of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hit me up.